What's up everybody, No here and welcome back to some more Battlefield 4 gameplay. Today we're going to be changing it up a little bit. We're playing Gunmaster today on Dawnbreaker. And uh, I wanted to keep this video a little bit shorter today because I just wanted to tell you guys something. Um, it's about all the gameplay that has been on the channel recently. Um, the Battlefield gameplay. A lot of you might be wondering why there has been so much Battlefield gameplay on the channel recently. And I just wanted to put that out in the open today. If I could find someone. I don't know where everyone is. But anyways, as we all know, uh, Battlefield 1 is coming up shortly. Um, it will be here in just a couple months. And to some people that might seem like a long time. Um, to other people like me, that does not seem like such a long time. That's just a little bit away. And... Um, I definitely am going to make a lot of videos for Battlefield 1, and that's kind of why I'm doing this. So you, you guys might not know, but uh, before the whole YouTube thing got started, I was um, mainly a Halo person, um, and I still am, and I took a long break from Halo, and um, I mean, I took a long break from uh, Battlefield and went over to Halo um, when I started my channel. And uh, for those of you who have been around for a little while, um, you might remember the daily series that I tried to do with Halo. Sadly, that did not work out too well. So we were um, given the opportunity to go with Battlefield videos because they were actually quite a bit more popular. Um, they actually did pretty decent on my channel and recently they have been doing really well. Because um, for me... Um, 50 views on one video is actually pretty good. That's a quarter of um, views. And for a normal channel, um, any size really, um, you get about 10% uh, of your subscribers to view your video. Um, at least that's the thing that I have seen. 10% is a usual number for um, any series to get. And if you get 10%, that series is actually doing pretty good. So. For me to get a, let's see, yeah, a 25% um, view ratio, that's really good. So that shows me that you guys actually enjoy these videos, which is why I keep on making them. And basically, I am trying to practice here in Battlefield 4 to get ready for Battlefield 1, which is actually going to be here very soon. So, of course, to do that, you have to play the current game a lot. And... Um, the main reason I can't, I'm not really practicing on my own and why you guys are getting so many videos. If you guys have never tried doing a voiceover on a video, it is very hard to do while you are playing. If you've never tried it before, um, then you don't really know. But it is quite a bit more difficult than just going out and playing the game. Because when you're actually just playing the game, you're actually focusing a lot on um, the game and what needs to happen in that game. Because um, I'm, I'm doing this live. So I don't know if you guys can tell that or not. You probably can. But, of course, if you are doing it live, a lot of your focus is taken off the game and put in, into the recording, which of course makes you not play as good so basically it's really really hard to get a good voiceover and play the game at the same time because when I first made my battlefield videos I think there were a lot of awkward moments and silences and basically now I'm just trying to keep it more upbeat and stuff like that try to talk a little bit clearer and make um, the videos a little bit more enjoyable for you guys so by doing this pretty much I'm going to have actually good commentary and gameplay by the time Battlefield 1 rolls around which is precisely what I'm trying to doing try to do is get kind of a good reputation built up um, by the time Battlefield 1 gets out which would be amazing and that guy is camping on the stairs so that's all good we are quite a bit ahead of people the key to this game is not dying and you do very good because dying takes forever to get back into the game. So you don't want to die a lot on this. That's the key. Um, and I am. So basically, when you get down to the heart of this, and just to put it bluntly, really, um, it's pretty much just branding myself as a good Battlefield player by the time Battlefield 1 rolls around. So that way, when all these, like, tons of videos are just pouring in from all over the internet, you'll know you can come to my channel to get 
decent gameplay and uh, you know stuff like that so um, it makes it worthwhile for you guys and that's basically what I'm trying to get across is that when all these new Battlefield 1 videos just start pouring out like I said you're gonna know you can come to this channel and you can refer your friends to this channel for actual good gameplay which is something that's super important when you're looking into a new game seeing good gameplay of it is something that you're obviously going to want so for me being able to put the um, the actual good gameplay out is very important so that's basically what I'm trying to do um, like I said just to put it bluntly branding myself almost um, so yeah that's pretty much just the full impact of what's going on with the whole battlefield situation on the channel and I'm actually really enjoying the uh, making all these videos of course sometimes it can be frustrating because your teammates aren't all that you want them to be and uh, stuff like that but you know once you do get a good um, set of teammates and you start winning games um, it makes making these videos a lot more because you guys like I said do seem to enjoy them like I said getting about 50 views on each one which is extremely good for my channel just to put that into um, perspective one of these videos depending on how long it takes me to record can take you know anywhere between um, you know, just an hour or two to make, as opposed to making airsoft videos, which literally, I'm not kidding you, takes about five hours per video, and they're only about 13 minutes. So making uh, airsoft videos is just ridiculously um, time-consuming, and if you guys enjoy this, you know, I'd rather make, like, short clips of the epic parts of the airsoft match and just give you guys full gameplay of this, if that would... Uh, make it a little bit better, um, which is definitely easier on me. I know um, just going through the entire process of editing out a full airsoft game with all the work that I do to it and stuff, you know, with like the scope cam and just stuff like that, um, it gets extremely time consuming, which, you know, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I like to save my time if at all possible. That was like really clutch right there. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, that's basically it. So now I can kind of focus on this game a little bit more. I feel like if I talk about the game, I'll, I'll do better. Um, we are actually doing really good. We are so far ahead of the competition. It's not really even funny. I'm worried about the knife for this game, though. Because this map is pretty open. I'm just going to have to go and sit in the corner. Because I don't think it's much of a question if I'm going to win this game or not. You know, it could be. I could just start sucking right now with the unicorn six and uh, just start doing awful but I don't see that happening really ah oh, you stole my kill not cool bro so yeah I think that's really all I wanted to tell you guys I would love to hear your guys uh, comments and opinions about uh, all the battlefield gameplay on the channel if you guys like it or not like I said most of you do um, but I don't know if some of you actually don't like the gameplay on the channel of course, you know, that won't affect the other 50 people or so that actually really enjoy these videos. Um, but, you know, it could make a slight difference in the amount of uh, gameplay that gets put up. Um, but like I said, I am enjoying making these videos. Um, it's definitely been fun. And I have been practicing with the Glock a lot. And I've gotten a lot better with the Glock. That guy's kind of catching up. He's at level 13, but he's on the sniper, and the sniper's actually kind of hard on this map. <laughs> Something in my mouth. I don't know what that was. That's kind of scary. You ever get that... Well, actually, that's kind of weird. I was about to say, you ever get that feeling where there's something in your mouth, and you don't know what it is, but then I was like, no one ever has that feeling. That's a stupid question. Why would you even ask that? But, yeah. All right, we took that guy out. Can we? Oh, we brought him down. If someone can put a bullet in him. Yes, okay. So that's going to count as a kill. We are, uh, let's do some math. We are six kills ahead of the next guy. So that's always really good. I'm going to have to take a commercial break right here. And I will be right back. Okay, so I still have not gotten that pistol kill, which is a little bit surprising. I'm trying to go for it. And these people have, like, good guns. And I'm stuck here with a starter pistol so probably need to be a little bit more careful you know it'd be really funny if we could hit that guy a little bit no nope, not gonna happen oh here's a guy right here oh wow that guy sucked wow <laughs> he was really bad 
Uh, I landed a lot of shots, but he should have landed more than me um, in that time, because I think he had an M4. I believe that's what that spray pattern was. Kind of looked like M4 burst. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to go hide in a corner somewhere and knife somebody, or we could just go right up to him and just say, hey buddy, you're going to get knifed. So yeah, we don't have too much time here, really. Um, you know what, let's hide in the bus. Oh, oh this is perfect. We're just gonna hide the bus. No one will ever suspect us here. Actually, this might work. This might work. This might work. Come here, buddy. Come here. Stop running. Stop running. Slow down. Slow down. You're too fast. Come here. Come here. I really wish I had boost right now. Why can't this be Halo? Come here. You have no idea you're getting chased. Come here. Get wrecked, buddy. I just ran a marathon to get that guy. <laughs> uh, well, it always feels good to end off with a win like that. So, if you guys enjoyed, uh, make sure to leave a like. And for those of you that can, go down and tweet this gameplay out so more people know about it. So that way, when the time comes, uh, everyone can watch the great Battlefield videos that I try to provide you guys. But that's going to be it for me today. Like I said... If you enjoyed, hit that like button. It always does actually help us out a lot. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So, I'm pretty sure I said that three times. Let's say it again. That's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.